friends welcome back i am agam and you are in my channel agam stack tricks today i'll show you how to sell for snakes cloud which is basically a file hosting and file sharing service on windows using docker so docker basically containerizes your app and you can use it like it uses the virtualization technology and we can run most of the apps etc so let's get started so first of all uh, there are two methods to use docker either the hyper-v method or the WSL method and uh, as hyper-v is not available in Windows 10 home edition which mostly everyone uses so I'll just go with the docker with WSL method today so what we have to do is we have to first turn on virtualization in BIOS like mostly it's enabled by default but if it isn't then make sure you have it turned on then go to turn Windows features on or off and a list of options will come then you have to just enable Windows subsystem for Linux and virtual machine platform. So after that, click on OK and it might ask you for a restart and then you can do it. So after that, uh, first we have to install Docker to like basically use Nextcloud as we are using as we will host with Docker. Then we have to click get started here. I'll give you the link of this in description. Then as we are on Windows, click the Docker desktop. It's basically Docker. And it also gives you a GUI graphical user interface to manage all our apps and etc. We have launched and whatever we have downloaded using Docker, etc. So just click on download for Windows. And it will take time to download, like it takes time according to your network speed, etc. So just wait for it. So here it's downloaded and what you have to do is just open now the installer and like you can open from the file explorer or you can open from here it's all your wish and then a user account control prompt will come uh, which will ask for your administrator permission just just click yes or enter your password and it will start installing now just wait for it it takes some time Here, install required Windows components for WSL2 and add shortcut to desktop. So I'll just go with on, uh, go with it. Okay. So here docker desktop is installed now it will either ask you for logging out and relogging or either it will or it will ask you for just closing it so for me it's like i'll just close it and then it's installed docker so now uh, just open the docker desktop app once to check like it's if working it will take some time to launch and I have no containers pulled right now. So now our Docker is installed and what we have to just do is now install Nextcloud. So uh, mostly everything is done. Now we have to just run some commands to install, download and host Nextcloud. So I'll link you the Nextcloud link in the description and just scroll down and we have a command using the Apache image. So I would go with it. Just copy this command, open your terminal. It can be any like PowerShell, etc like mostly it should be PowerShell and then just paste this command copy it and then paste it here right click and it will download and install the image and run on the port 8080 it will take some time to download again depends on your network speed
so here it's now pulled and it's also now started so we can just use the GUI to like see it started or not so just open the docker desktop app again and here we can see the next cloud is started and just go to the our uh, web page where it's like hosted localhost 8080 so here now it says create an admin account it depends on you uh, like i'll go with sqlite only so just create an admin account admin and whatever pass you want and then you can just see it like i'll go with this for example then just go install So here it's like basically it's downloaded and here are the recommended apps like it's all your wish if you want to go with them or not. I'll just install the apps. So here the apps are now installed and it's redirecting to the dashboard. And here we have installed Nextcloud successfully on Docker on Windows. So now it's just showing the introduction. And then you can uh, use the Nextcloud app also on Android or any of the PC. And just basically uh, go to your like local IP and then you have to connect to the same network or either you can do port forwarding and then use a domain. So if you are using local network, so you have to uh, connect to the same Wi-Fi and then uh, use get the local IP and then connect it using your Android phone or either in your different PC. And then just click it and then start using Nextcloud. So here we have installed Nextcloud on Windows with Docker successfully. And you can see whatever we just made, like our admin account we had made and then about next cloud and help this basically our next cloud and uh, the files etc like this is normally next cloud but on windows this is just normal as the like we host on linux so thanks for watching my video please like comment and subscribe to my channel thank you